Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Williamsport, also known as the Battle of Hagerstown, located in Washington County, Maryland, between Union General George Meade and his Army of the Potomac, and Confederate General Robert E. Lee and his Army of the Northern Virginia. This occurred on July 6th to the 16th, 1863. After the disaster of Gettysburg, on early morning July 5th, the Confederate Army of Northern Virginia retreated towards Williamsport, located on the Potomac River. The retreat of Confederate forces caused disrupted command and misdirection communications to the Confederate units. The biggest blunder was the separation of the Confederate Army supply, train, and ambulance from the infantry forces. The separation of these portions of the Army resulted in the supply train being underdefended and the infantry portion without medical assistance or supplies. Word of this reached the Union and cavalry troops were dispatched and crossed South Mountain into Boonesboro attempting to place themselves between the Confederate infantry and supply trains. This was a once-in-a-war opportunity to strip the Confederate forces of supplies and medical treatment. Union General Kilpatrick's troops engaged with Confederate Colonel Chambliss' cavalry brigade at Hagerstown on July 5th, forcing the Confederate troops to call for help from Confederate Brigadier General Alfred M. Iverson's infantry and Confederate General Jones's cavalry for reinforcements. Kilpatrick sent two Union brigades of cavalry to reinforce Buford, and another brigade to station itself south of Williamsport in order to block additional Confederate reinforcements. Confederate intelligence received word on July 7th of the Union dispatch and attack at Hagerstown. They notified Confederate Brigadier General John D. Imbolden and his brigade of troops to start the defense by intercepting Union General Buford's cavalry's attempt to attack the wagon trains at Williamsport. This didn't slow Union General Buford's attack until Confederate General Fitzhugh Lee's brigade arrived and attacked as well. They eventually pushed the Union troops back to Boonesboro. Casualties were moderate, with the Union suffering 400-plus men killed, wounded, or missing. Meanwhile, the Confederate defenders fared a little bit better by losing only approximately 250 men that were killed, wounded, missing, or captured. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.